So today I want to show you a little, a few tricks about managing all 10 of these. Making the same change to all 10 boxes or, or trying to run a query against the 10 boxes individually is a nightmare. SQL provides us this great capability to create a group of registered servers. And I can connect to one of them individually and then I can run a query. So here I'm in the staging database, MimUtils. And so select top one star from, and let's grab data from our system parameters table. Okay. Or even top 10. But what if I needed to look across all 10 servers? Well, instead of right-clicking on the server name and selecting new query, I can instead right-click on the group name and select new query. And you'll notice something a little different. Down here it says connected, 10 out of 10. And it shows the name of the group as opposed to here, where it shows me the name of the server I'm connected to. So once again here, let me get this to the same state where I have a new query window. And you can see it says connected one out of one here connected 10 out of 10 now let me run that same query oops i need to be in the right database and now you see it puts the the server name here and you note that this is the server not the actual server name but this is the name that i've created over here this server is not actually named zero underscore the server is actually named the comma 14481 that refers to the port number and so these names here i prefaced it with 0123 through 9 because that is the win number that this server is responsible for this server is responsible for wins that end in 1 or zero and and eight and so on observe this so here on this server there's a parameter in the parameters table called last win and the primary last win is two and that is for server two and the secondary is three on server two and here on server zero, you can see it's zero and one. And we'll get to why that's important in a minute. But I just wanted you to see, one, how I can run a query against all the servers, and it brings the results together, and it shows it to me. This is a great way to query something against all the servers. Also, if you're needing to make a change to the SQL code or the SQL schema, you could do so against all 10 of the servers at once. Very, very handy. Since that was clearly one of the more superior technical how-to videos you've ever seen in your life, I highly recommend you check out our latest video, our playlist, and subscribe.